have any friends found out. The small external battery board, we usually use to deal with bugs, easily damaged, and different types of batteries. To match the corresponding small board, it is also more complicated. To operate, it costs a lot. Small external boards like this are now obsolete. Let's take a look. This new multifunctional instrument, it integrates iPhone 11 to 15 Pro Max, card holders for all battery models. The instrument needs to be connected with different cables. You can quickly complete the operation to achieve 100% card health. Fortunately, I have a mobile phone here, 14 Pro Max with transplanted battery. Let me show you the complete process of dealing with bug. First find the corresponding model of cable card holder. Each cable has a common model number marked on it. Try not to choose the wrong one. Fasten the cable to the motherboard battery holder. Don't worry. The card holder of the cable will expand the card holder of the motherboard. We use all original card holders. It will not lead to low battery data. Then buckle the battery with the transplanted cells on the instrument. This newly transplanted battery requires power to activate. Can be used normally. If you find that the battery is stuck on the instrument. No display. Don't panic. We just need to plug in the charger for the phone. Just activate the power supply and the instrument will display normally. The first option is battery pop-up health repair. It is used to make the health of the phone reach 100%. Used to handle bugs. The second option is battery test cable reading and writing. It is used to modify the default parameters of the external small board. If you want to set the default efficiency to 100%, just modify it in this option. The third setting is useless. I won't talk about it anymore. Click to select first. The first instrument initial setting is 100% efficiency. Why do we need to change the efficiency to 110%? Because if you only get stuck at 100%, after a few days of use by customers, the efficiency may drop to around 98%. But what if you push the efficiency to 110%? He won't fall down easily. The second item of battery cycle times does not need to be modified. Some friends want to increase the battery efficiency to 90%. Remember not to reset the number of cycles to zero. Once you clear, we'll find the displayed efficiency is completely different from the efficiency you wrote. That's because of the number of cycles affects the efficiency of the battery you wrote about. Will lead to inaccuracy. The third pop-up window status. When it shows battery pop-up mode, what happens after the phone is turned on? It will prompt unknown parts. The function of this pop-up window is to allow the phone to display the old battery efficiency before. Refresh. Let me show you the process of pop-up window at startup. Some mobile phone models require plugging in a charger. Power your phone. Only then can you boot into the system normally. After booting up, this small instrument will prompt us that the phone is turned on. Wait for a while to enter the system. Click on battery health. You will find the battery efficiency is no longer displayed properly. This shows that our first step is to pop up a window to refresh the health. Already successful. Instrument pop-up status. It has automatically switched to no pop-up mode. And a row of small characters will appear below. Prompt us that the pop-up window is successful. Please restart your phone. Let's restart the phone. Look at the second time. Enter whether the system health can be stuck at 100%. After booting up. Battery efficiency displayed in the system. It has become 100%. Although this is 100% just for good looks. And it has no real effect on battery life. But for those who have transplanted the cell data. Many people who don't want to flash their phone to sync the battery. 100% bugs. Also a good choice. At least some people with obsessive compulsive disorder feel comfortable looking at them. Will suffice. Next I'll remove the cable. Put the battery directly. Whether the health level can be displayed normally. 100% okay. There is no problem. The battery holder on the motherboard is not fully extended either. The battery and health status of the phone show that everything is normal. Let me demonstrate it to you again. 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max models. How to deal with bugs. Because these two models have two battery holders. The card holder on the motherboard is for power supply. The card holder above the tail plug is for data. The two cables marked A are buckled on the motherboard. The one marked B is buckled on the tail plug. Let me give you a demonstration.
After arranging and fastening the cables, connect instruments. Attach the transplanted battery to the instrument. You can perform the stuck bug operation according to the normal process. These two models are quite special. If you only buckle one cable, there is no way to complete the operation of dealing with bugs. Then I'll show you. At the port C in the upper right corner of the instrument, it is also possible to connect an external control board. Only one CC data line is needed. Can be connected to any small board. Very convenient. And all subsequent updates will support OTA upgrades. Add some features. Finally, summarize. Have you noticed? The entire operation process of dealing with bag is very simple. And this instrument has prompts throughout the process. Prompt us what to do next. Very friendly to novice friends. What is the purpose of making this tool? Also to simplify the entire process. Make dealing with bugs easier. Like before. I had to go back and forth several times, only in order to reach 100% health. Moreover, this kind of external small board is easy to be damaged. Such gadgets are only recommended for professional mobile phone repair engineers. Individual players are not recommended to buy it. It's of no use to you.